Welcome to Ghent, Belgium. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 22nd. Uh, we're here until Saturday, and then we head to Bruges. Um, so, you know, we just took a train. It was a 30 minute train from Brussels, which is really, really short. Um, so, let's go walk around Ghent. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff marked on the map. I think most of it's just like sightseeing stuff, not, not in museums like it was in uh, Brussels. Let's go. They were right in the middle of a uh, mass, so we weren't able to go down to the middle section, but it's still pretty cool to walk around in there. This is the uh, graffiti street here in Ghent. There's graffiti all over the place. really cool the castle the, the tour guide like on the audio guide was basically like a comedian not sure who but it was really it was a good tour the sun's come out a little bit it made it all hot and humid so taking the jacket off but it's very pretty look at all these buildings Now, getting close to two o'clock. I think Elizabeth's up to, I don't know, 13, 14 nude or different beers in Belgium, uh, including tasting mine. Uh, so we're gonna go try some more, we're gonna go check in, and then like we go try to find a uh, laundry place because we have a bunch of dirty clothes from uh, our four or five days in Brussels. Never mind. we're not gonna go to the pub. It was basically empty and we didn't want to be the only ones sitting there. So we might go there later. So we're gonna go back in. So we're gonna go check in, grab our clothes and try to find a laundry mat around the hotel. And uh, by the time that's done, it will probably be time to uh, actually get into the room. While we were at the laundromat, we ran into a couple of Americans. So that was pretty cool. We chatted with them for a while. Uh, they were both living in California now. There was one couple and then one guy by himself. So yeah, then the laundry finished and we grabbed a waffle and uh, gonna head back, check into the hotel and uh, keep going in Ghent. This is something new. This, uh, there's a code to the room. So apparently the rooms don't have keys anymore this year uh, so we have to take a picture of that and try to remember it hello and welcome to our first full day in Ghent. Uh, we did a lot of things yesterday. We saw a lot of, a lot of Ghent yesterday. Uh, we're going to try to do a boat tour today and then we have German class that will take up an hour and a half. 
and then uh, we'll see what else we get up to today. Uh, if we can't think of anything else, we'll either take a train or get a rental car and drive around somewhere around Ghent tomorrow. Uh, and then we head towards Bruges on Saturday. So anyways, let's go see if we can get on a boat to do a little boat tour. They're only about 40 to 60 minutes, I think. But. could be sold in our big boat. And gentlemen, I would like your attention for the Manhattan burger on our left side. The Rue Petit et Grand, you can see the Grand des Saint-Cafites. It's close to the people because the roof needs urgent renovations. Million euros to restore it into its original state. We're no longer allowed for any major city to build in wood. So this is the last remaining one. Okay, then let me see. Rest in balance. Exterior of our ville du Moyen Age. Uh, beneath it, you can see, however, it was closed up in the 50s to create living space. That tour guide was really good. I mean, I'm like, the information was cool, but he was multitasking like crazy. He was driving a boat down a narrow river, speaking English, and then he translated to French, and he was, his hands were moving all over the place to make sure we didn't crash into the wall, making sure that when the other boats came by, he was giving way and it was nuts. I, I was sitting right behind him and he was, uh, give, he was giving me a little crap because I was I was asking him questions like, oh, okay, now that you've made it interactive, um, here's a question for you. He's like, what, uh, what did everyone drink? What did 90% of people drink? And I was like, beer. Nah, that was funny. Uh, he was a good sport. It wasn't too bad. He was, yeah, I don't know if he was expecting me to to ask him a question or not, but it's all right. So now we're gonna get some food and then uh, go get ready for some German. These uh, Belgian frites are really good. The food was really good and the bowling was fun. It wasn't too crowded. That place I imagine gets crazy because like I went to the bathroom and there were 13 urinals on the guy's stall and uh, five like closed door stalls and it was, and it was a big place. I mean, the bowling wasn't huge, but I imagine they get very busy. I mean, I think Google said they're open until 2 a.m. on Friday nights. So I imagine that place is popping. And the prices were pretty reasonable for all the food and all the drinks. It was, I think, 60 or 70 euros. So not too bad. Um, but next up, public library. It's like kind of on the way back and it's apparently a cool looking building that's open until nine. So head over there. So, let's go. Alrighty, while we were on the bus, it started raining, but uh, that's the library. I don't think we're gonna go inside. I think it's uh, just like a normal library. It was cool to stop by. All right, I think after being out all day and with this rain coming in, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we have one more day in Ghent. So this will likely continue into tomorrow. Uh, the vlog will, I'm not sure about the rain. Uh, we might come back out, I don't know, if we get a little hungry, but the vlog will likely start up again tomorrow. Alrighty, welcome to our second and last full day in Git, Belgium. Uh, today, we're going to go to a park that's a little bit south of here. Uh, there were some other things that the uh, reception recommended that we could do.
Alrighty, well this park was really cool. There were a ton of little mice and rats and stuff, but also a lot of birds. So, uh, Elizabeth found a good looking ramen place that is just around the corner. So we're gonna head over there, get some ramen. Uh, and then there is a market square out where the uh, that pub that we went to a couple days ago, or we tried to go to. On that same square is what's called the Friday market, according to the receptionist at the hotel. And today is Friday. So uh, let's go get some ramen and then go up to that square. It's about noon. So hopefully the square is, you know, has some people on it. Yeah. All right, well, that was definitely the best ramen I've had in Europe. Um, it's on par with really good ramen in the US and I mean, I've never been to Japan, so I don't know, but it was really good. It was, uh, I was surprised. Like I was, the bowl was empty and I typically like leave some noodles, you know, the bowl was basically cleared out. So uh, we're gonna head up to that square that I mentioned earlier. All right, well, apparently, what time is it? 1.30 is uh, too late for the market. So it looks like everybody is closing up shop. I mean, the weather seems fine, but maybe it just ends early. Ended earlier than we thought. Um, maybe it goes until like one, but it's all right. I mean, it looks like a, like a flea market kind of thing, plus food. Uh, looks like it was pretty packed though. There's trash all over the ground. So. is some kind of weird art exhibit thing like there's that thing and then there's a car I'm curious what's on the other side alrighty well Ghent has been a beautiful town it's been an awesome time the buildings are beautiful city is beautiful we've had a really good time here uh, we're looking forward to Bruges and Antwerp and the rest of our trip in Belgium but uh, that's gonna be it for this vlog I uh, hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching catch you next time bye